Hey guys, Joel here, and welcome back to another review. So today's game that we're going to be looking at is a game I never heard about, or even know it as I even mentioned, and that's Mega Man and Bass. From what I know, this game only came out in Japan, also known as Rockman and Forte, <laughs> or if I'm saying it correct, or Fort, I don't know. But um, it was only in Japan, then people was able to translate into English, and then I was able to find online to download it, and we're going to try it out. We're going to check this out right now, and yeah, see what it's all about. The easiest way to play this was just downloading this right on the PlayStation Classic. So let's see what this is all about. But first, look at this. Look at this analogy. What does that look like to you? We just have two sticks of the PlayStation's ass. But whatever. Let's just go. So once we choose new game, they give us the option of playing as either Mega Man or Bass. So you know who I'm going to go with? I'm going with Bass. I don't know anything about this guy. Let's check him out. Look at that cool looking penguin shaped helmet he has going on there. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, I'm guessing I meant Rockman and Forte in Japanese. Alright, let's begin. Alright, so far so good. Don't see anything that difficult. I'm having fun. Alright. Yeah, of course. Of course it begins. Let's go. What? Oh my god, this game. Already. Oh my god. This damn game already. Already it begins. But I'm just gonna try and get through it. I'm gonna get through it for you guys. I'm gonna do it. <sighs> There's also a shop feature here that you can choose. The amount of screws that you collect in the levels you can use here to buy many different things, like this one, which is probably the only important one I see in the store right now, and that's the extra lives. Then we have energy. Transceiver, I don't know what the hell that is, a shot guard. And what's this? Exit? As an exit to store? It's like, what's the point of that? That's just a waste of time. Why am I even gonna waste screws on that item? I don't even need that. More like screw this game. One thing I haven't talked about here is that the stages. Here you can choose many different stages. You can fight any of the bosses in whatever order you, you choose. And then from there you go. So let's go with Burning Man. Burner Man, as he's called. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like a nice little level. Nice forest. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. Who thought this was a good idea? Why do you have a cute looking bat? with some thick lips. I've never seen something like that before. <laughs> that is hilarious. So we make it out of that forest, we end up here inside some hidden base deep into the forest. And yeah, these levels are really annoying. Like this guy right here, that takes so many damn hits to kill and I can't even aim on him. Come on, I'm just, just, trying, to, just trying to aim. He just keeps throwing these damn bombs at me. I don't know what to say. This is the thing that I hate the most in this game. Why does it take so long to kill these enemies? So many hits, so many hits, and they finally go down. <sighs> That's how these old school games were. We have the forest, we end up here in the carnival level, and these damn things won't get off of me. Get, get off of me! Oh my god, that was really annoying. And this level is a pain in the ass. Where's the train? All of a sudden, the train doesn't want to show up anymore. Oh, well, I'll just continue going. Yeah, of course. That damn knockback feature pisses me off. Yeah, screw it. I'm using cheats. After searching online, this is what I find. These are all the cheat codes. And there's only one cheat code I need, and that's this one. Infinity Energy. Infinity? I guess they mean infinite. So what we do is pop this in here. And there we go. Enable it. And now... <laughs> This should be a breeze. Look at that. Uh, see, this is much better now. See? Don't have to worry about getting in a hurt. Still a knockback feature. But hey, I won. That's all that matters. Look at that. Yeah, now that's more like it. Now that's what I love to see. See, sometimes in these old games, you do have to cheat because they like to screw you over. They're difficult as hell. And sometimes that's what you have to do to get by. So, I did what they would do to me. That's it. So now I'm happy. One other thing I forgot to mention was this, which is pretty cool. Every time you defeat an enemy, you get their special ability, which of course is like that in every Mega Man. I like this. So now we have the magic cards effect. Yeah. 
And one other feature here is what I also forgot. Is here where you can collect all the disc and you find out more about all the characters from the series. Like here we have Flashman. You can also read a little description about them as well, which I find really cool. And who's this? <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say about that. Hard man. <laughs> and why does he look like he's re he is definitely ready to get some? Just look at him. After watching Harder Man pose with a hard on, we're finally here at the next level, Astro Man's level, which can be annoying, especially with these damn puzzles he likes to use. Play games with you. Fighting Astro Man, I don't know why, but it looks like he has a big ass or big thighs. I don't know, it just looks like that to me. Once you get to the water level, you encounter the mecha version of Whale Lord from Pokemon. I don't know what he's doing there. Oh my god, no! Ooh, this damn game is starting to piss me off. I thought that cheat would have allowed me to stay invincible to everything, but no. The spikes still take you out with one hit. I don't know what this is anymore. I was a little bit happy with the cheat, and now it's starting to piss me off a little bit. But I'm gonna try and just calm down and get through this game. <sighs> so once we finally get to the end after dying so many times, we are countered by Pirate Man, who of course is easy as hell because we are invincible. So after taking him out, and then after taking out Tengu Man, I think his name is Tengu Man. And the next round, that's it. That's it for all these bosses on each level. Then we can finally make our way to the ending. So after that, let's see what's in the store now. He has a lot of new stuff. If you want to check back here, you can see what he has. He has everything un unlocked now. But that's important. This, I don't care about it. And here we are. I don't even know what the, this place is called. We quickly get all the screws we need. Then after that, once you get all those giant screws, it unlocks the last area, which is this giant tower. And yeah, this place is... <laughs> it's annoying, that's all I can say. It is the worst level, the worst dungeon I can say in any game that I know of. And here we are, the boss of the first part of this damn place. Oh, what? <sighs> Did you guys really just see that? Did he really just spank his ass in front of me after throwing shit at me? Like, come on. <sighs> Alright, that's how you wanna play? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's almost done. Come on, come on. We almost got him. Just one more hit. One more hit. Yes, what? What? I just beat the boss and I died right after? It could have at least gave me a chance to jump off the damn platform before falling into the damn lava. Oh my god. Now I gotta do this all over again. Yeah, this game is really, really pissing me off. Finally making our way back to this damn boss on the first part of the tower. He is finally defeated and we can move on to the second part of the tower. This place is annoying. Because you're first met with this guy, this giant ass tank thing. I don't know what to call him. After that, once you beat him, no, 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 the stage is not over because you have to do more. I don't know what the hell is going on over there. But anyways, this enemy, this boss, I should say, is the worst boss in any game I can think of. Just look at this. Just watch. So many shots. I am shooting like crazy and this guy won't die. Come on, just die already, come on, come on, oh, oh my god. Okay, so there's two more cheats I'm going to use, that's enemies can't hit you and Forte can shoot more, and that's it. I've checked everywhere for any other, any other cheats, and this is the only last ones I could find. So we're just going to use these, and I'm just going to try and win, because I am getting sick of this enemy, I'm getting sick of him, he's pissing me off, this game is pissing me off, I just want to get over with, I want to beat this game, come on. Come on, just die, come on. Uh, come on, come on, come on. I know you're probably almost dead, you have to be, come on. Uh. Ooh. Oh my god, 
had after all of that after all of that I died this has to be one of the worst difficult bosses I've ever faced in any game and you know what yeah I'm done you know what fuck this game I'm playing something else okay so here we have Mega Man Legends for the PS1 this should be a better game way better so let's go what? Okay. Um, no, because I cannot move. I literally just started the game, and I tell you, she just goes on and on and on. Text after text. All this pops up, all these pop-ups, and I can't even continue playing the game. I just want to see what the game is about. <sighs> but once she's done, you're met with the worst controls I've ever seen in any games. Yeah, I don't think this was... Yeah, forget it. You know what? I changed my mind. This game is worse. So, just fuck this, we're going back to Mega Man and Bass, and this time, we're gonna finish it. You know, there's one thing I forgot about, and that was the save stats in this emulator. <sighs> I can't be I forgot about it. <sighs> you see, now I feel like the idiot. I'm the idiot here, because I forgot all about the save stats. If I had just used that from earlier, I would have been able to defeat this boss a long time ago. So but the save stats to the rescue, let's see now. Can, it, can we do this? Come on! Come on! Yes! Yes! Finally! Finally he's beaten! Defeat who I believe is the most hardest boss in this damn game. You're not done with this floor, oh no. Now you have to fight King. And as he continues and battles on and on and on to bass about all this crap, you finally fight him. And yeah. He's not... he's not an issue. Look at this. <laughs> Come on, you can do better than that King. Come on. And after that, oh look who it is, Proto Man shows up and gets ready to use a Big Bang attack. Is it Vegeta? Oh wait, no, Big Bang Strike, I'm sorry. So after that's over, Proto Man falls to the floor, asleep as always, another game where someone's tired. Then you have to fight King again, this time he has an axe, ooh. After the battle is over, he becomes a good guy, he teleports Proto Man out of the tower. Then King continues to babble about a bunch of other nonsense. Then after that, Bass asks him, who was it that built him? Then he answers, yes, with Dr. Wily. The shocking information. Bass is really surprised at that. Dr. Wily just shows up on the monitor and just continues talking about a bunch of crap that no one cares about. I'm just waiting for this game to be over. He decides to improve the parts of King and I guess that makes him evil again. He breaks through the damn wall, and then after that you have to fight him again. But this time, you gotta fight him with his Megazord over here. With all the parts. And oh look! <laughs> Megazord has a dick. Yeah. Anyways, after you defeat King, then he becomes good again. He tells you he's, the place is about to explode, and he's gonna teleport you out of there. Bass is worried about him, asking where, what he's gonna do. He's saying don't worry about him, he'll catch up behind, which he doesn't, and he ends up dying. And that's it, finally, for the second stage. So after all of that, you're finally, finally at the top of the tower, of Dr. Wally's tower. And once you begin, guess what happens now? Yeah, you have to fight all the damn bosses previously. And I mean all of them. <sighs> yeah, this is, this is very tedious. So after defeating all the bosses again, you finally get to the last part of the damn game. Dr. Wally's here. Finally. This game has got me exhausted. Alright, so let's take him out. So pretty simple. All you have to do is aim for the head. We have invincibility on, so we have nothing to worry about. Once you take him out, is that it? Do we finally beat the game? No, of course not. So after you defeat his second form, he comes wobbling out like a fish and start bending down on his knees, look like he's ready to go down on bass. And I guess that's it. Yeah. Yes, that's it. That's it. Finally. Finally, I've beaten the game. Oh my god, I am... I'm exhausted. This game <laughs> really took a toll out of me. And without those cheats, I don't know what the hell I was going to do. But hey, I did it. 
I did it for you guys. I finally beat the game. And that's pretty much it. So all you have here is just a bunch of... A bunch of credits. And while the credits are going on, Bass is talking to Dr. Wily about a other bunch of crap that I don't care about. And that's it. Which I, I find that part really cool, you know. I like that they have the credits rolling. And on the other side, on the left, they have, you know, a nice little cutscene playing out. That's pretty much it for the game. There's nothing else to do with it unless you want to collect all the CDs, but I'm not doing that. So there you have it, guys. That concludes the review of Mega Man and Bass. A great game, but things like that is what really pisses me off. The, the crazy spike in difficulty with the bosses, even the beginning, even the earlier bosses are really difficult. And without these cheats, I wouldn't have been able to do this. I don't know who, who was able to do this back in the days playing these games because Mega Man, oh my god. Is one of the most difficult games I've ever played. And honestly, I can say it's my first time beating one. So hey, that's something to be happy about. Finally beat a Mega Man, even if I had to cheat, but I don't care. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this review of Mega Man and Bass. And even though it was a good game, it's still something I have to do. Because it pissed me off.